Hello everyone, myself Ishwara, a legal internet Lexus and company and my topic for today is Doctrine of Eclipse. The Doctrine of Eclipse is a uh, doc- doctrinal principle that uh, that is a concept of FRS being a prospective in nature. Ideally, it suggests that if any law made by the legislature is inconsistent with the part third which deals in fundamental rights of the Indian constitution then that law will be considered invalid and incorporated to extend of it being an overshadowed by the fundamental rights. The law that stands in violation of FR becomes hidden by FRS because of uh, supremacy uh, hence casting the uh, uh, eclipse on it. There are some silent features of the doctrine which are First one is the doctrine of eclipse is applicable only in pre-constitutional law cases that have now become an operational with the comm- commencement of the constitution. The doctrine is not applicable to the post-constitutional laws reason being they are valid since their inception and cannot be validated even by the corresponding amendment. Third one is the pre-constitution law, which must be a, which must be a conflict with FR. Then only it is said to be an eclipsed by FR. Fourth one is the impugated law in corporate only, in operative only, for being there. Hence it uh, hence, hence it is not null or void admission. Fifth one is any corresponding amendment to relevant FIR will make the imputed law and enforce again. In the in that way, the doctrine of eclipse protects the uh, dormancy of FRS as given in Article 13. Since the doctrine is prospective in nature, it will apply to the pre-constitutional laws only and not only laws that came in effect on 26th January 1950 as under Article 30. There is a landmark judgment also. The first case is Golanath versus State of Punjab in which the petition was filed under Article 32 of the Constitution challenging the Punjab Act 1953 as in violation of constitutional rights of the petitioner under Article 14 and 19. The Supreme Court held that the Parliament does not have the power to curtail the guaranteed fundamental rights in Constitution and any amendment of FR need not to be constitutional. This decision left Article 368 eclipse. Second case is Shankri Prasad vs. Union of India. In this case, the Supreme Court elaborated and discussed the constitutional validity of the first amendment in 1951 that curtailed the right of the property of the citizens the supreme court that held the power to make the amendments in the constitution as per the article 368 are inclusive of the power to amend F- fr as well thank you